Hello everyone, I'm Diana Nkada. Welcome to my YouTube channel called The Enlightenment Show. So today we are going to be talking about coronavirus and some of the mental illness that comes across. So let me start with what is coronavirus. Coronavirus, it is a disease characterized by common cold and it causes severe respiratory syndrome. Some of the symptoms that you can always be checking on are such as running nose, fever, sneezing, coughing, difficult in breathing as well as pneumonia. Coronavirus can be transmitted through body fluids such as mucus and saliva when in contact with an infected person. Therefore, the virus can be dispersed on air through coughing and sneezing, and these droplets can land on surfaces such as money, your car keys, the, any areas in public area, and when you are in contact with these surfaces, you can end up touching any opening such as your mouth, your nose, or your eyes, and this can make you infected. How can you protect yourself from coronavirus? First always wash your hands frequently by use of soap and water when you're not near water sources use sanitizer that is 60 percent to 100 percent of alcohol you can always cover yourself with a mask to avoid touching any openings in public places you can wear gloves to avoid coming in contact with this virus you can always cover your mouth by the use of a hand towel avoid using handkerchief or when sneezing or coughing use your elbow to cover your hands this will help you to stop transmitting this virus when you're infected and will also help you to protect any other person I've seen in public areas, people have taken precaution by the use of sanitizer, but now I want to show you how to use the sanitizer. First, you can take your sanitizer, uh, put a little bit on your palm, rub this side of the palm, then on this other side. On top of your palm, you can rub it as frequently as you want to, and then in beneath your fingers, in between your fingers, this way, do not forget your thumb as well. You can also cover it. So this habit of just being given the sanitizer and doing like this kindly stop it as well as washing your hands make sure you concentrate on this in between your fingers because these are the areas most of us are forgetting but always go for the idea of washing your hands frequently you can use hot water and soap and while washing your hands kindly don't use a bath soap kindly use a liquid soap mostly in public areas because a bath soap many people tend to use it and I think liquid soap, the, it's for your own safety. So let us see some of the mental illness that can be caused by corona epidemic. One of them is anxiety disorder. Secondly, a stress disorder. Thirdly, is obsessive compulsive disorder. In terms of a stress disorder, this is when people right now are afraid of this coronavirus. They're having stress and people have different way of coping with this stress. Stress disorder, this is when a person is unable to cope up with the pressure due to the current situation. So... Um, People are having stress right now due to lack of business, loss of job, and students being at home. And some of the symptoms that can emerge due to stress are such as depression, avoidance, withdrawal, lack of sleep, as well as lack of appetite. Anxiety disorder, this is a strong feeling of fear and distress that keeps you out of your daily activity. One of the anxiety disorder I would love to talk about is hypochondria anxiety. This is a health anxiety whereby you are afraid to seriously get in sick. And some of the symptoms that you're going to detect that you're having a hypochondria anxiety is when whereby when you see, sneeze due to dust, you tend to go back to the internet, check why you're sneezing, thinking that it's coronavirus, yet you've just sneezed due to dust. But I'm not saying this so that you won't take precaution concerning these symptoms, but this can be due to the anxiety you're having in such a situation. Secondly, is when you tend to have panic attack. When you touch something, you touch your mouth, and it's not at that steep place, you tend to have that, uh, you are afraid of getting ill. 
Thirdly, is any time you get a diarrhea, you're going to the hospital to have medical check checks due to coronavirus. These symptoms are not related to coronavirus, but you are having that anxiety. You're very afraid. You're having this this tendency of avoidance, isolation. You don't want to go to social places. You don't want to stay with any other person. You just think alone. This is due to anxiety, and you can. You can always check this extreme behavior that can be a mental illness but not a safety precaution. Obsessive compulsive behavior. This is when you're having excessive thoughts that leads to a repetitive behavior such as washing your hands in our current situation. Washing your hands can be can be one of a signs of a mental disease. This is whereby when you're washing your hands, you train to wash it until you're injuring your some of the parts of the hands. This can be due to the mental illness. When you are having Having this disease or when you're taking precaution due to a coronavirus we should take care we should having in mind we are doing this not because of not because so that you can harm ourselves or anything but so that you can keep safe so positive things to do during quarantine first of all being told that you should avoid crowded places does not mean you should be bored isolating yourself so some of these activities you can do with your children parents this is the best time to stay with your child be able to understand their emotion their behavior their level of intelligence for so for children they can be able to sketch coloring drawings playing with their toys be able to play with their mom their dad be able to get into contact with the family members around them so for the adults the youths and any other person such as a teenager you can be able to watch movie have this long series that you wanted to watch watch them do not be a addicted to electronics or tv be able to socialize by other people through video chatting in whatsapp you can be able to skype with these other people use music instruments such as playing piano try to learn foreign language you can also try to have these skills such as online writing uh, creating a website train yourself how to plate people you can use some dolls by plating have these things if you're, you're good in drawing or at drawing try to sketch draw practice your talent do each and everything that will make you happy so a daily routine there are ways on how to plan your day make sure when you wake up in the morning you can start start by a prayer you stretch yourself so that you can stretch your muscles because staying at home can make your muscle numb make sure you have enough sleep do a lot of exercise this will be able to make you strong and healthy by the end of the this season of quarantine so when you are in this season of quarantine do not be bored look at activities that will make you grow utilize these talents utilize this opportunity to 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 broaden your mind, do research, Google some of the things, be aware. So keep your mind out of trauma, stress, and any other thing. Secondly, uh, subscribe. If you've subscribed, go and watch, like, share, comment. Thank you.